Welcome. You like the porn stars? Down. Hello, Chip Dippers. Now on my channel, I usually cover retro computing and retro gaming stuff. Uh, a lot of Commodore 64 things as well. But occasionally we go a little bit off menu. And that's the case this week. Though we're not going too far. I mentioned the Commodore 64. And one of my favorite episodes of one of my favorite shows was the one where Porn Stars looked at the Commodore 64. I brought in my... Commodore 64 computer. In uh, 1982, I got one of these things, and I actually wrote a spreadsheet on it. And then when I want to print out a report, I'd press a button and wait for like 15 minutes, and then it would print. <laughs> <laughs> now, we love Porn Stars. We've watched every single episode, particularly that Commodore 64 one. So nothing in this video is to detract from how great that show is. But they did air something, something I don't think anyone else noticed. It didn't even come up in this video. Wait, how many views? I'm lucky if I get three. Seeing as they put it out there, uh, I figured it's okay to talk about it. For the time, it was really, really innovative. God, it doesn't seem like that long ago. <laughs> but first, you know who else likes porn stars? Babe? Yeah? Um, do you want to be in my porn stars video? You what? Porn stars video. I'm doing a video about porn stars. Spell it. Spell it. P O B A W N. Pawn stars. Pawn stars. Pawn stars? Pawn stars. Pawn. Pawn, yes. What's a pawn? Like a pawn shop. Pawn. Yes. Pawn star. Pawn, pawn well, star. anyway, do you want to be in my pawn stars video? Pawn stars video. You couldn't afford me anyway. Well, too late. You're in it. <laughs> Well, for a show about retro, really nothing could be more retro than thrifting and pawn shops. Pawn, pawn, pawn shops. Uh, but when I was watching the show recently, I noticed this. Now, firstly, when you watch the show normally, you'll be familiar with the shop setup. You've got these two counters on either side. You've got the entrance door there with the light coming through it and the logo on the glass. And you've got this corniced ceiling up at the top. It's white, it's rounded and it goes right to the edge of the wall. And then I was watching this episode in the brand new season, and suddenly, although the counters were the same and the door was the same, the ceiling had vanished. Now, I always like to think positive. I'm a bit of an optimist and give the benefit of the doubt. So I wondered if maybe they just ripped out their ceiling. Uh, but I watched the whole rest of this brand new season and the old ceiling kept reappearing. Even the front door kept changing from frosted to clear. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's great. It was 64K RAM system, 38,911 basic bytes free. So just by turning it on, you took up almost half the memory. So what is actually going on here? Well, I think there's only one possible explanation. Well, it is the History Channel after all. She likes aliens. Now, seriously though, I think what is happening is they didn't use PCB Way when they built the cameras for this show. PCB Way! <laughs> she likes them. Uh, I do recommend them, especially their advanced PCB service. I don't think they can hear me if you do that. And as we all know, PCB stands for Porn Ceiling Blooper, doesn't it? Okay, there is a probable third explanation, which is they built a complete replica of the shop in a TV studio soundstage, so they don't have to interrupt the everyday business and comings and goings of the real shop. And that's completely understandable. <laughs> See? Uh, you will notice, though, if you do watch as closely as I do, that it does alternate between the two. You can actually see the door on the TV studio soundstage has a slightly smaller logo and frosted glass. And it never opens, although you'll see people walking from it as if they just walked in. But the real reason that I think this is a studio is there's no exit sign above the studio version's door as required by law. So look out for that when you're watching this show. Nothing about this detracts from me watching the show. I'm gonna continue loving and enjoying it. Although, I do wish they'd show a few more retro computers. I think 250 would be fair. You got a deal. Good. 
Well, that's it for this recipe, but I'll see you next time when we'll be back to our more regular programming. Until then, thanks for watching, subscribe below, and cheerio. I can almost guarantee you there's another nerd out there just like me that's gonna love this thing. I'm dead and you just walk away.